I had no idea that I would be sick for so long, but I just, I remember shaving it thinking like, it's gonna be okay, it's, this is gonna be okay, I'm not gonna be sick like this forever. We were always looking for some sort of hope, like medication or another doctor or some sort of treatment, just, it can't be like this, you know? And I thought, well, I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna go to every service and I'm not gonna do this and I'm not gonna do that and what can I do, Lord, to change your mind? To, to, don't take this from me. At eight years old, Allison was diagnosed with alopecia universalis, a rare and incurable autoimmune disease that causes the total loss of hair. Though it weakened her body in many ways, the real struggle was the years of shame that came from never feeling good enough to earn healing from God. That is, until she heard one message that would change her life forever. This is the story of how God healed one girl from North Carolina after first healing her of the shame that plagued her heart. This is the healing journey of Allison Rolla. At an age when most little girls are playing with dolls, Allison spent her childhood trying to find natural looking ways to cover her baldness so that she could feel normal. They actually gave you free wigs until you turned 18 and little stupid things like, <laughs> you just like have to part your hair a certain way um, to like start hiding all these spots. And as a little girl, I had really nice hair and I just think so much shame came from it because I just feel like my brothers and my family, they're all so cool and I just wanted to be beautiful and I don't know. So just losing my hair was really sucky. <laughs> And I just felt like I went from being this pretty little girl and this happy little girl to like, why is this happening to me? They had like plastic here. And so every time you smiled, if you feel like your ears go up a little bit, and so it would like cut my ears and I would be like bleeding. I didn't even take my wig off for my family. Like I didn't want anyone to know I was bald, to see me bald. I was so ashamed. I remember going to sleep at night thinking like, I'm gonna wake up with hair. I, and it has to be some sort of miraculous thing because I didn't want anyone knowing I was bald. So I just wanted to wake up and the wig had disappeared and all of a sudden I have hair and no one would even know it was a thing. I mean, my parents, they're so, so lovely. And so they took me anywhere. I even remember like cutting out evangelists are coming to town or healing ministries. I'm like, let's go. Maybe they can touch me and I'll be healed or something. For years, Allison continued believing for a miracle with no results. It wasn't until college that she had a revelation that before God could heal her head, he first had to heal her of the shame she carried from being bald. Just remember talking to a friend like, I don't really want to do this anymore <laughs> because either the Bible's true and he heals or I'm out. I decided I'm going to go with a surrender. I'm going to give it everything I have. And I knew that the last thing I needed to surrender was this wig and I was so free and it's a freedom that I cannot describe. Like the shame was gone and people could look at me and I didn't care. And then my hair actually started growing back. And so everybody knew, oh my gosh, it's this big miracle. And I felt so much pressure. I couldn't take it. And anyways, it didn't stay. And so I would lose my hair. And then I just felt like a lot of people's faith was riding on me. And I mean, you brush your hair and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm losing my hair again. And I thought, well, I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna go to every service and I'm not gonna do this and I'm not gonna do that. And what can I do, Lord, to change your mind? To, to, don't take this from me. While struggling to earn her healing, Allison found out that her mother was dealing with serious health issues of her own, a journey which led her and her husband to the teachings of Andrew Womack. My dad, he's actually, he's like very blunt, but he was like, Allison, you know, it's your fault, you're sick. I was, I was so mad. <laughs> and so anyways, I was like, well, I might as well give it a try. <laughs> and this is what people are doing today. They're saying, oh God, heal me. When the Bible clearly says, 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes you were healed. Were means it's already done. It's already been done. Why are you asking God to do what he says he's already done? It's because you believe what you feel more than you believe what the Word of God says. You are walking by sight and not by faith. And I mean, the light bulb went off like, oh, I don't have to do anything to earn healing. I don't have to fast. I don't have to pray. I don't have to beg. I literally do not even have to ask you. You already healed me. And it was so empowering because I was finally free of, of this works mentality. I remember so many times comparing myself to the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible. And I'm thinking like, if I could just touch Jesus, if I could just touch him, I know I would be healed. I believe he will heal me. 
And then this, this revelation that, no, 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 I'm comparing myself to the wrong person. This is the new covenant. The Holy Spirit's in me. And I just looked at my head and I was like, here, grow in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, it's done. I I'm healed. The Lord was so faithful in that each season, he kind of kept telling me the next step. And so for a while, like I would still have bald spots in the back. And so I would just feel this nudge of, hey, if, if you're healed, you'll wear your hair up. And so I'm like, well, you know what? I am healed. And so I would wear it up. And I had worn a headband all the time. And he's like, well, if you're healed, you're not going to wear that headband anymore. And so I take that off. And eventually it was just like, oh, wow, I have a full head of hair. After getting completely healed, Allison wanted an even deeper foundation on God's Word. So she enrolled into Karis Bible College in Charlotte, North Carolina, where she graduated alongside both her father and grandfather. As for Allison's mother, after receiving her healing, she works alongside her husband, running our Karis location in Beacon, New York, where they share the same teachings that changed their entire family. Today, Allison is the director of spiritual life at a private K-12 school, where she shares what she learned from Karis with the next generation. When I was six years old, I had this dream that I was on stage telling people about Jesus. I was telling my mom about it and she has it like written down on a note card and just how the Lord got me to the job I'm at now where I'm speaking to people about Jesus. I did not have to see my hair. I knew I was healed and I just started praising him. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, who forgives all my sins, who heals all my diseases. That was done on the cross 2000 years ago. I was waiting and waiting to be healed. All along, I already had it. When I first took my wig off, I'd be driving in the car and like wind would hit my hair and I'm like, oh my gosh, did my wig fall off? And I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm just like bald. And now, I don't know, it's just so different. Even like wind in my hair, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so great. This is great. <laughs> Allison takes every opportunity to share her testimony with others, including writing a book full of scriptures to stand on entitled Victorious Living, which you can find on Amazon. To our friends and partners, we say thank you. Because of you, one girl who was once bound by sickness and shame is now living her life to the fullest with a full head of hair. To think about how far the Lord has brought me and how good he is and how, I mean, seriously, that's why this message is worth preaching so that a 10-year-old girl and an 11-year-old girl doesn't have to deal with this. I'm just so thankful because my future children are not gonna know what it's like to be sick or to be poor or to be broken, then it's because of Andrew Womack and his partners. And I'm so thankful not only to have hair, but to realize all of these truths, my life is so much better.